Uh, so a uh, one on four, Fraser, your reaction to uh, the performance and the result? Um, not really the result we wanted. Uh, we came here today to try and get the three points. We know at this stage of the season that all the points we can get are massive points, so the draw will take it, but it's not the result we wanted. What do you think the difference was between winning and, and drawing today? Was it a, a lack of quality in the final third? Was it just a bit of sloppy defending for the set piece, a, a mixture of both? No, I think you said it from the start. I think our quality, the, the pitch weren't great, but that's both teams were both teams are playing on it. I think our quality in the final third wasn't good enough. I think in the first half, even in the second half, I didn't really, oh, well, I was talking to the back three, didn't really feel troubled at any point. We felt quite comfortable. Um, and in the first half, we had our chances as well. But yeah, I guess it was quality in the final third. Yeah, and the game was there for the taking. I think we could all sense that. But they really did come back into it in the, in the second half. Um, and, and almost had chances to win it themselves. Um, obviously disappointed that the, the game sort of drifted away from you in that second half of the time. Yeah, they're the home side. You kind of expect them um, to come out and give it a go. They're 1-0 down. You could hear the fans getting on top. And the gaffer said at half-time they're going to have their spells. Because they are the home team, they're going to but just ride it. And I, I felt like we did. I felt comfortable the whole game. I didn't feel under pressure. We knew they were going to have their spells, but no, we're disappointed. And your first start on a personal level I mean, um, since the beginning of December has been a, a while coming. Um, were you surprised to be involved today? Did you have warning in the week? Uh, I had warning in the week. I played 60 in the reserve game and then I got uh, and I, I got dragged because I knew I had to be in training to lead up to this game. And um, yeah, um, I'm just delighted to be back. The last couple of months have just been, I get one injury. Then just come back for the Doncaster game. We're getting another injury in the last two months. It's just been a nightmare for me, but I'm grateful to be back and um, just trying to help the team every chance I can. And it must be quite a buzz having been out that the manager for what was a big game has, has entrusted you in a, in a position that you're not playing regularly, let's say. Yeah, um, like at the start of the season, I think it was a diamond. Now we've gone to three at the back and. I'd like to think I can do a job wherever needed and I'd like to think that's one of the big things that I'm trusted and this left of a back three is more natural for me because I'm a left footer so I can get up and down so it does suit my game plan so now I was delighted to get the 90 minutes. Yeah and at times you were coupling up with Dan Butler on the left hand side causes quite a nuisance. Yeah we, uh, that was part of the game plan if we can, usually when you play wing backs you look like you've got one on the wing by yourself, but we had well, we try and double up on their full back or their two v two, and we feel comfortable that sort of way, overlapping, underlapping. But no, yeah, we had we got a good relationship. And that's two games the the teams have to be without Ivan Tony. Uh, Moisa himself has uh, had an opportunity. There's been a, a little bit of a period without a goal. So what's the feeling in the dressing room for him now he's uh, ended that goal drought and uh, I've got on the score sheet today? No, yeah, I'm delighted for him. You know, me and Mo get on really well. And he's obviously, yeah, he's had to try and come in, take his chance when he's got it. And I'm delighted he's got his goal. But the manager's got options to pick from. And Ivan's not a bad option, is he? No, you'll be pleased that he'll be back for the Portsmouth game, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's a massive, massive player for, yeah, massive player for us. And like, he's not just, he, yeah, he can do, he can do everything. Like, he, this type of game would have probably suited him as well. We could have went a bit longer, played off him, but no, we, I've got his goal. Dems was up there with him. We've got enough fire, uh, firepower, sorry, to cause any team. Problems. And the aim all season has, of course, been promotion at the come May. And do you still feel that's a, a possibility despite the drop points here in the Fleetwood? 100%. 100%. We've got 10 games left. You, you've seen the table. I'm not meant to look at the table, but we've seen the table. Um, everyone's going to drop points. It's so close. Yeah, I think. Have we slid out of the playoffs now? I think only for actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're not the only teams that's going to drop points from now until the end of the season. So we can only worry about ourselves. And if we can win as many games as possible, we'll be there. Top man. Thank you very much.